What's up guys, this is Simon from Aesthetic Progression and in this video I am going to share with you guys my high intense interval training. Now, why would you do high intense interval training or HIIT? I have talked more about these kind of training versus our traditional training in this description box or the box over here at the top. And um, again, but just briefly, why would you do that, something like that? First of all, if you're training at home, you might not have treadmill available. Okay, second, if you want to run outside or anything, then it might be rainy or snowy, you know, or just, you just might have kids to watch at home or whatever it is. Or else you might just get bored, okay, while doing that. And plus, over here, if you do it, it's kind of like ramp up your, um, ramp up your metabolism, plus give you a different, different feel of cardio. So there are a lot of reasons why you would do that, and especially with summer round, I'm focusing a lot more on these kind of training. Uh, just uh, in uh, in the exchange with our traditional type of cardio. So what about this this kind of thing that I'm doing today? We are doing five exercises back to back. Uh, in this program, I'm counting repetitions. But if you would like, you can count uh, or take time in consideration as well. So for example, my five exercises that I'm going to pick is going to be the first one is going to be split lunges. The second one is going to be jumping burpees. The third is going to be mountain climbers. Fourth is going to be reverse burpees. And fifth is going to be Spider-Man push-ups. Now I'm going to go 10 repetitions on each exercise. And those that involve two legs, for example, the lunges, I am doing, I'm um, counting 10 total, total, so five on each side, okay? and. Same with the but I mean, I'm sorry, but with the mountain climbers, I'm I'm doing ten with each leg, so twenty total. Um, so uh, giving you a little bit, little bit detail on these exercises uh, would be you know uh, for somebody that does not know how to do a jumping lunges or do not know what it is, it's just regular lunges. A lunge is where you put your one leg forward and other leg would go downward. Okay, that would be a regular lunge. Now, jumping alternate lunges, as the name suggests, is going to be just like this, okay? It doesn't really matter if you keep your hands here or free or anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Um, just make sure your hand is safe and you know, you don't get your surroundings like that. So, what I would do suggest is, while you're doing these, just don't go too much, because I don't want people to put too much pressure on your knees. Okay, the second is going to be jumping burpees. Jumping burpees is when you stand straight erect, you go down, push your leg back, and then do a push up, come back in, spin back, and jump. Okay, so that's one repetition. So this is how it should look like, okay? Okay, you can do 10 of these. The third exercise is going to be mountain climbers. So you would be in the same push-up position like this, okay? And what you would do is you would keep knee, one knee forward at a time and repeat, just like you would come climbing a steep mountain. This is a great exercise for your abs, alright? So let me show it to you guys. So you would do 10 on each leg, so 20 total. Again, from the side. Push your position and okay. Great for cardiovascular endurance and great for the abs. So whew, the fourth exercise is going to be reverse burpees. So after you are done with the mountain climber push-up, what I want you to do is lay flat on the ground. Okay. Roll back up, use all the force to roll back in on the ground, push the ground and jump. I don't want you guys to jump a lot higher just because it can get uh, very difficult at the very end. And again, the fifth, push, fifth exercise is going to be push-ups. And uh, Spider-Man push-ups are just like regular push-ups, but it has a tweak that every time you go down, okay, every time you go down, you'll be bridging the leg, one of the one of the legs forward. So let me show it to you. Okay. Again, from the 
side. Okay, so you're doing five exercises back to back again. I'm counting with petitions. If you would like, you can count uh, time as well. So do one exercise for 30 seconds and then do all the exercise for 30 seconds. The rest I would recommend is one minute, two minutes. So make sure you have some kind of a timer or stopwatch or anything on hand. So I just put it right here at the side so that it's easily available to me. I'm going to do again two sets. One from straight and one on the sideways so that you can have a different views. So without wasting any time, let's start the workout.
So that's it guys. Two sets done. I usually do five sets. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to go do two when we shut the video off. And do three more. Ah. It's really difficult. At least for me. The whole point of making these videos is for me not to show off, but to show you guys how it needs to be done. Now, if I had done this exercise and I was not even sweating, obviously I'm trying to show off. You can be beginner, intermediate, or advanced. You can just change up the reps, time, you know, pull around with these factors and make this exercise difficult to burn out those fat and oh, oh I'm sorry and get the six pack abs that's it for this workout session I'll do three more you guys can do what you feel comfortable in I'll see you guys next time bye bye